Here are five problems having to do with random numbers and we'll do the solutions with Python. So the first problem is produce one or more random integers in the range minus 5 to plus 5. Let's do that in the shell. Minus 5 to plus 5. So we'll need to do this import and now we can use randint minus 5 comma 5 and there we go. That's the first one. Randomly choose from a sequence like this. Okay, we'll do that in the shell also. So here's the sequence. I've called it S and if I want to choose from that I just say choice of S. And there we go. And you notice that I imported choice up above here. Number three, randomly choose a number between one and three. Ask the user for a guess. Tell the user if the guess is right. Okay, we'll do this in here. So randomly choose a number from one to three. So the number becomes randint one comma three. And then we're going to ask the user for a guess. So we say guess is equal to converting into an integer the result of raw input your guess and then we say tell the user if the guess is right so if guess is equal to the number print right else print wrong let's see how this works Okay, this says your guess. And I say, I don't really know what it is, so I'll say one. And it says wrong. Don't really know if this is working. Your guess, two, wrong. On average, one out of three times I should get this, right? If I keep saying two over and over again, eventually it'll become two. Let's see. Yep. Could be the program's broken. We've had five guesses of two in a row. There it is. Okay. I think that program works. So we generate a random number between one and three and store that in the variable called num. We call raw input with the prompt your guess and we convert the result of that into an integer and store that in a variable called guess. Then we compare the guess with the actual number that the computer chose randomly. And then if the if these numbers match, then we say right. If they don't match, then we say wrong. Okay, that's number three. Number four, display the result of rolling two six-sided dice. If we have one six-sided die we can display the result with something like this, randint 1 comma 6. Um, the result of two six-sided dice can be displayed with this. Is this what you thought? And uh, you might think, well, why couldn't I just use randint 2 comma 12, which is the range of sums of two six-sided dice throws that you could get. But uh, as it turns out, there are more ways to combine the dice and end up with certain numbers than others. For instance, there's only one way to get two as the sum of two ones, and there's only one way to get twelve, the sum of two sixes, and so on. Okay, so that's that. Use randint or choice to add an element of randomness to a program of your own design. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Let's um, have a little simple game here that says print. You walk into a room and then if randint 1 comma 2 
equals 1, and this will happen on average 50% of the time, then something happens. Uh, a monster appears. Otherwise, some other message. Everything is fine in here. Let's run this. You walk into a room, a monster appears. You walk into a room, a monster appears. You walk into a room, a monster appears. Come on now. Everything is fine in here. A monster appears. We're getting a lot of monsters. There's another everything is fine. On average, it'll work out to 50-50, unless I've made a mistake here, but I think this is right. Okay, that's the answers and explanations for these five problems.